Hi everyone, Jörg Marcus here. The client tells you this is too expensive or your price is too high. Now what do you do? I made this video different from the other ones. I didn't include the subjection in the last video because this one requires further analysis. This requires like further thinking so you can solve this. And I found a way that's pretty effective to solve this specific problem. And I'll share with you guys how I do this, how I solve this specific problem. So this is how you're going to do things. You're gonna create an Excel spreadsheet and you're gonna do this like this. Usually it's like someone has a business or has an annual income. For, for this matter, it doesn't matter. Let's say it's a company, like one stop shop guy that has like a company. What you wanna do is set up your Excel spreadsheet with revenue and then leave an empty field for the number that is going to tell you. What you're gonna prepare is divide that number for like a year, 365 days, and each day has 24 hours. So you divide that number for 24, uh, by 24 hours. And you do the same thing for 60 minutes. Each hour has 60 minutes. So the number it tells you is going to equate right in the end like whatever the number might be. So all you gotta do is fill in the blank and you have the whole thing like ready and going to spit out what he makes like um, a day and then uh, a minute. Then what you wanna do is you have a, a second set that is parallel to that and it's the price of the policy. And you do the same thing, 365 days, yada, 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 and then by the minute. And you'll know how much the policy is costing him a minute, right? And I'll give you an example, a 100K uh, property here, the price is usually around 100 bucks a year. So it's like almost nothing. <laughs> if you subdivide that by 365 days, then 24 hours and 60 minutes, it's like cents of cents. So this is how you're going to approach things. It's like using logic to fight the time issue. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna to set up his mind in a way that is going to go all ego on you. That's your trap. You're going to trap that person into going all ego and then you are going to use logic. Emotion cannot defeat logic. That's just impossible. Someone can go all Rambo and all like wrestling dude on you, but then you go present case a case like bulletproof case with logic, they can't defeat you. So the third column that you're gonna do, the third set that you're gonna do, is what I call the competition column. As an insurance professional, you can either be an insurance broker, that means that you go price shopping like for all insurance companies and then you present the best price to the customer, or if you are an insurance agent, that means that usually you are set up with only one company. If this is the case, it's the worst case that you could be. That means that they're not gonna tell you that they have like a lower price point. So you really need to use this and use time for you against them so you can win first. Because if you actually give them time, they're going to price shop. And if you like more aggressive in this specific manner and use logic to go against all types of objections that they might have, they just can't win. And I'll show you how. So this third section is regarding your competition, the unknown factor, because you don't have any other proposals. You just can, you can only submit the proposal from your company. This is what I wanna do. You wanna use the time factor that he's, he is wasting when he's telling you that I'm gathering proposals, I'm waiting for proposals, something like that. It's like something along the lines like, I'm, I'm, we are just, just consulting the market and waiting for proposals. Right? He's being like hypocritical. He's being like telling you things in a way that it's ah, send me the proposal, it's not important. Obviously it's important because otherwise they wouldn't be looking at policies. So the time factor is the, the thing here. And you have to trigger their, their decision based on logic. And you are going to use ego against them. Okay? So this third section has the unknown factor and the unknown factor is twofold. Price, which you don't know, and then the time that they are using, waiting for the other proposals. So this is only about time. 
And what you want to do is, as soon as they give you the revenue that they make a year, and you have the thing already set up, automated, that you know exactly how they make a how much do they make a minute. You have the second set that divides the price of the policy, like up to the minute, so you know how much the thing costs up to the minute. What you want to do is put there like that blank space for the unknown factor for the amount of time that they have been waiting for proposals. And they either going to tell you or you're going to extract that from them. Let's say they tell you something like, we are using this week, we are waiting this week to get all the proposals. So a week has X amount of days, has a, uh, X amount of hours, X amount of minutes, right? So it's about minutes, okay? So this is what you wanna do. When you call that person, right? You just ask him, yeah, just out of curiosity, did you take a look at the proposal? And this is on purpose because you are setting this up in a way for them to tell you that they are wasting time. Okay. So they're going to tell you, I haven't, I didn't, this week I don't have any time. So it's a week. See what I mean? So it's like, call me in two weeks, right? Two weeks. You put that number in that unknown factor. See what I mean? When they tell you that, and they, they probably can, don't tell you this in the same, uh, like in this specific order, but you are looking for these numbers to fill, just two, which is number of time they're wasting and how much do they make a year? So you can start something like, start a curiosity with completing some details on the proposal. So this is the second version, completing some details of the, of the proposal. Just out of curiosity, how much does a company like this make a year? Right? And then they tell you the number. And then afterwards you would be telling them, say, by any chance did you take a look at my proposal? And then they, they will tell you something like, I haven't taken time to look at this. Uh, this week I'm busy, call me the next week. So you put one week there, like seven days. Right? Now you're going to go all kung fu on them and just tell them upfront the numbers that you have. And say, just our curiosity, I've been thinking here. If this company makes, and I'll do the math for you, just for you to understand how, how this works. So let's say they make 1 million bucks a year. So 1 million bucks divided by 365, that's 2,000, no, sorry, 365, that's 2,739.72 dollars and 72 cents. See right here? Then you obviously had it set it up to divide by 24 hours, which is in a, hours in a day. So it's $114.15. Divide that by 60 minutes, you have uh, $1.90. That's how much, what he told you, that's what that company makes a year. How are you going to rebut this? You can't, right? Because you're right. You are using their logic against them, even if they are using ego, right? Even if the company makes 100K a year, they told you they are making a million. See, they're lying. What is speaking the truth? Doesn't matter. You have a number here. Then let's say the policy costs like 100 bucks a year. So like 100 bucks divided by 365, divided by 24 hours, divided by 60 minutes. It's like, zero, right? So it's 1.9, zero. Here's the other one. They just told you they are going to waste one week with this. But they also told you that their time is worth 1.9 bucks a minute. So 1.9 bucks a minute times 60 minutes, that's 140. 114 bucks times 24 hours, that's 207, 736, 2,736 bucks times one week, which is seven days, that would be, this is what, 19,152 dollars. So when he tells you that he's going to need a week to look at this, right? Now you're going to tell him, 
this type of math, but obviously I'm, I'm taking time to do this on a cell phone, you have the whole thing like clean up in a, an Excel spreadsheet, you'd be much faster doing this. You're just asking him questions, open-ended questions. Something like, your time is worth X and X and X and X. If this company makes X and X and X and X, this means that you are wasting $19,152. Does that make sense? And then you wait. Remember the waiting part. He just, he just kicked his ass, right? He has absolutely no way to get around this, right? So now you're on the offense and you're just saying, you are wasting your time that is valued 1.9 bucks, 1.9 bucks a minute. And you have been wasting almost $20,000. And if he's analytical, you'd be saying $19,152, right? I already have the, you already have my proposal there. I'm calling you because I just need your bank account number. And I set this up and you don't waste any more money. Which one would you ha rather have? And then you wait. Now is like, you know, he's right. Or he's going to say something like, well, but I need to think about it. And when he tells you, I need to think about it, what do you need to think about? You, you already wasted $20,000. Are you insane? What kind of a manager are you? And then you wait. He has no way to get around this, right? He say, give me your bank number. I'll set this up in a minute and it's all done. And if for any reason you need anything, you just call my number. And then you wait again. He's gonna do this with you. You just kicked his ass, right? And this is how you do this. If, and this is the other last one that I wanted to share with you. If for some reason you still have some suspicion regarding that character, you're going to use something that is known in psychology, which is having people contradicting themselves and having them question what they just told you. I'll give you an example. You ask them in the end, you say something like this. Would be there any reason for you to change your mind? And if he just told you the bank account number, he's going to go all ego again and say, no, I just told you, I'm, it's, it's about, it's, let's do this. I just told you to do this. Why would I change my mind? Right, thank you. Here's my number. I'll call it when it's done. And that's it. This is how I want to address the price factor. So remember, it's about making sense of the number in his mind and about using this type of logic. Like, it doesn't matter if it's an analytical person or if it's like a more aggressive person or it's either like 20,000 bucks or like 19,152.37 cents. You are using logic to solve a specific problem. They are not telling you that they are price shopping, but when you are presenting things in a way that it's putting urgency in their words because they just told you they are great at what they do, you're using ego and they're making one million bucks, right? And every single genius Warren Buffett dude doesn't waste any time because time is worth money. You just show them that, that they're losing money because they just told you that they need a week to think about it. And when they look at things in that perspective, now you're right, right? So if in the end, for some reason, you even think that something is wrong there, you ask them to say, would there be any reason for you to change your mind? And then they like, why would, why would I change my mind, right? Because they, they can contradict themselves. You already have all their details. You already have the bank account number. So all you gotta do is like fill in the, the paperwork with the insurance company and that's it, you just got paid. So I hope this video helps. Comment below, remember to subscribe and click that button below so you can get notified every time that I make new videos like this. Peace.